Welcome to the Verde Verdict Sports Show. I'm your host, Jacob Verde. Here's another LSU spring practice update. You got Garrett Nussmeyer slinging rock all over the field. You get to see a little bit of the starting lineup for the wide receiver room. You know, we're not going to get a sure answer here on the depth chart until probably fall camp. You're going to see these guys battle it out all spring. I think wide receiver one and two is obviously locked. Of course, wide receiver three. Is it Aaron Anderson? Is it going to be Kyle Parker? could be a couple of different people you can even throw cj daniels into that mix but you got to see some quarterbacks throw some rock I, I always love seeing you know this drill because you get to see the offense in their element you know you don't have all the stress you kind of just get to see them play freely and see how much progress they've been able to make together i mean look back to the bowl game sure there's not uh everybody on the same team it's not this exact same squad that we saw play wisconsin but just comparing that offense and comparing the start of that game to what we've seen through the last couple of weeks they look like a well-oiled machine and also talking about ricky collins uh in the potential backup position i think he's in a situation that you know benefits him in a sense where yeah he's a little more mobile than aj swan and you know he's been in a joe sloan scheme a little longer joe sloan obviously recruited him obviously has good connections with him it could help him out here i think aj swan you know being the more experienced guy could provide a bit of a, like a coaching experience he's another set of eyes on the sideline when you've been in the game that long and when you understand it you can only you know help your teammates you can only help the team you can only help the coaches i think if aj doesn't go to the qb2 spot He's still going to be a big, big help for this offense staying on track and continuing to produce like they did last year. And is it possible? I think so. Will it look a little different? Of course. You know, you're not going to have your quarterback rushing for, you know, 200 yards a game, but you could potentially see Garrett Nussmeyer throwing 400 yards a game, 350 yards a game. I think that arm and that pocket presence he has is going to be the distinguishing factor in what helps LSU's offense continue to produce at that rate. You know, Joe Sloan, Cortez Hankton, Brian Kelly, they're piecing some things together. They're tailoring this offense to custom fit Garrett Nussmeyer like a suit. I mean, this dude's going to be looking trim by fall. I think LSU football is on the right path. You know, with, with what hand they were dealt and with the draft departures and with, you know, a multitude of things that have happened throughout the offseason and the last couple of offseasons, I think they're in a great position. You know, you finish on the brink of the top 12 last year. You only need to get in the top 12 this year to have a chance at a national championship run. So I think they're in prime position to be able to stay afloat, you know, stay in that conversation, stay a legitimate title threat. All it's going to take is that defense to not, you know, miss their stride, for them not to gel and come out and, and, and be in attack mode. Now, of course, getting a new defensive coordinator, getting a new T-line coach, getting a new DB coach, getting a new linebacker coach, seeing the entire staff just get cleared is going to be a little worrisome for the DBs, for the linebackers, for the D-line. I think the defense is in a growing phase, but they've improved pretty quick. You know, I've, I've liked what I've seen from the defensive back room. I've liked the engagement I've seen with the coaches and the players, and I've liked the mentality that, you know, we've seen. I, I think talking to guys like Sage Ryan and just kind of seeing the morale around the locker room these guys are excited to play ball for these guys for the coaches for Blake Baker for Bo Davis for Coy Raymond these are coaches they respect these are coaches that help develop and produce NFL talent and there's like a level of pedigree here you know there's a there's an expectation and I think these coaches are holding them to it they're holding them accountable and they're not going to let anything slip through the cracks anymore and now, of course, only time will tell. We, we're, we're looking at spring fall camp here where they're doing angling drills, you know, uh, realignment drills, tackling drills. We're not seeing anything crazy. We're not, we haven't even really seen one-on-ones yet. So there's still a lot left to be seen, a lot left for them to do, a lot left for them to learn. They're on the right, the right path. They're making improvements, and all I can say is I think it's upward trajectory. If it was a downward trajectory, that'd be something to be worried about. That'd be something to, uh, you know, pulse check every now and then. But I think that the defense is definitely going to be a night and day comparison to last year. I think when you bring in talent like that and when you bring in coaches like that that understand the situation, that understand the culture, that understand the scheme and, and what Brian Kelly wants here at LSU, 
you're going to get everybody bought in on the same page, and it's going to be one wow all machine. I think it's going to be very interesting to watch. Let's move on to the offensive line. Brian Kelly, Brad Davis, they've been, they've been working in the recruiting side of things. Of course, you know, to kick off the Brian Kelly campaign, you got Emory Jones and Will Campbell in there. Big, big pieces to that line. But shout-out to the 2025 recruiting efforts because the number one inside offensive lineman is going to be coming to Baton Rouge. And that's huge because you're going to continuously have star power and experience at that position. Yeah, they just signed Cohen Eccles, and you know they got a multitude of, of linemen that will still be in that spot once guys like Emory and Will depart for the NFL. Very excited that LSU is on, on a spot of like developing – major legitimacy in terms of being a powerhouse in the SEC. A lot of people are probably going to be confused on how why I use that word to describe them. But when you're recruiting this impressively, when you know you're a threat in the transfer portal like they are, and sure they're not doing numbers and they're not pulling huge transfers every single day, but they're definitely a threat. They're definitely some players and major athletes that have that list you in the back of their mind. And it's not for no reason. You know, what Brian Kelly has done in his first few years at LSU is very impressive. Multiple double-digit win seasons, an SEC appearance, developing a Heisman winning quarterback, getting very close to a national championship. He had a national championship level offense, number one offense in the country. He's going to produce three to top 15 picks in the NFL draft. I feel like this is definitely the spot to go. Talking about development, Bo Davis, of course, working with that defensive line, trying to get that defensive line pressure in tip-top shape. I think the thing with the defense here is that you always had the talent. All of these defensive guys, even last year, very talented, very good athletes, very skilled. You just got to try to find the best combination to blend them, to develop them, to get them all engaged on the same goal and to, you know, find the perfect beast in the perfect storm, for example. It's hard when you got all that talent, when you got guys like Harold Perkins and, you know, you got all kind of crazy talent it's so hard to figure out a way to blend it and to figure out a way to put everybody in a position that not only benefits the team but benefits them as a player you know especially when you're playing in the sec you got some of the top offenses some of the worst scheduling but it's it's what makes this program so exciting thanks for watching the verdant verdict i appreciate everybody tuning in y'all have a good one make sure to hit the subscribe button more spring football coverage coming Hit the notification bell so you don't miss another upload. Y'all have a good one.